Hello everybody. Welcome to Hear Listen Speak. So in our last video, we discussed about tinnitus. So today let's see a few myths about tinnitus. The first one is tinnitus is an imagination. In the last video, I did say that 99% of the people who are experiencing this ringing in their ears, a second person cannot hear it. So when a person says that he's hearing a sound in his ear, Nobody else is able to correlate with him or understand him because they are not experiencing it. This makes him think that he is imagining this sound. But the fact is tinnitus is not an imagination. The second one is tinnitus is a disease. No, tinnitus is definitely not a disease. It is just a symptom. Now, what is a symptom? Symptom means it is an indication of an underlying disease. Example, if you have an ear infection, sometimes your ear can produce a tinnitus. Or if you have a hearing cell damage which is happening in your inner ear, even this can lead to a tinnitus. So, tinnitus as such is not a disease, it is a symptom of a disease and we need to find out why tinnitus is happening in a person. The third myth is tinnitus happens only with hearing loss. In the last video, I did say that around 75% of the people with tinnitus have some amount of hearing loss. But there is the other 25% who can have just normal hearing and experience tinnitus. Now, why does this happen? This could be because they might be having some minute hearing cell damage which is not getting reflected in any hearing test. Or this could be even due to stress. So even people with normal hearing can get tinnitus. A fourth myth is tinnitus as the tinnitus increases in its volume, the hearing problem is increasing. So if you have tinnitus, the volume of tinnitus need not be constant all the time. Few days tinnitus can be very loud or few days it can be very soft. But when tinnitus is becoming loud, that doesn't mean that ear is getting damaged more. There are people with 60 to 70 percent hearing loss who don't have tinnitus at all. And there are people with normal hearing having tinnitus. So there is no one to one correlation between volume of tinnitus and amount of hearing problem. So don't get worried if you hear your tinnitus loud on one day. It could just be because you were just so tired on that day. Fifth myth is there is a single effective treatment for tinnitus. There is no single cure for tinnitus which is applicable for everybody. Every single person the treatment of tinnitus might be a bit different. Some people tinnitus can be completely cured by just medication. Example, if they have an ear infection or a ear wax in their ear canal, tinnitus can be completely cured. But in some cases, when you have an inner ear damage, which is giving them a tinnitus, then we have different management options like hearing aids. And if the hearing aids are not working, then along with the hearing aid, we have to give them psychological counseling about how to deal with tinnitus positively. So, there is no single management strategy. And the last myth is, tinnitus is the same for everybody. There might be some people hearing tinnitus in the same way, but the perception of tinnitus for sure varies across individuals. For example, there might be two different people hearing the same ringing sound, but one person might be very okay with it. The next person might be completely stressed out because of the tinnitus. Again, tinnitus can be of different types too. It could be ringing, buzzing, clicking or it could be speech like sounds. So every single person experiencing tinnitus would have a different experience with tinnitus. It's not the same for two different people. I hope this video has educated you more about tinnitus or ringing in our ears. See you all in our next video. Till then, happy hearing.